CVA's Acura Series. Vergara barrels for guaranteed accuracy. Nitride for guaranteed rust proofing. And a rifle guaranteed to be the best muzzle loader you've ever shot. CVA, it's just a better gun. This segment's being sponsored by Tri-Green Equipment. Stop in and see them at 21 locations in Alabama, Mississippi, and Tennessee. They can take care of all your Honda, Steel, and John Deere needs. Yeah, he did. All right, everybody. This segment's being sponsored by Courtney's Restaurant and Catering. Y'all can find them at 4066B North Mount Juliet Road or Mount Juliet, Tennessee. Or give owner Tom Courtney a call at 615-754-7548. Let them take care of all your delivery and catering needs. All right, welcome back to the studio. Uh, all right, I gotta say something real quick. So something was brought to my attention by my mom. And today's her birthday. <laughs> She's watching right now. So first of all, we gotta say happy birthday to my mama. Uh, happy birthday to, to or, or Miss Faye or Miss Linda or whatever someone else would know her <laughs> as, but it's mama to me. But she made a valid point. She said, I don't know what a slam is. You know, we didn't think about that. Yeah. So just real quick, Justin, what is a grand slam? What is this, you know, super slam, so on and so forth? Raw slam, world there's, slam, and soup. Yeah, there's a, a grand slam, which is the four species inside of the states. Uh, and then the raw slam takes you to Mexico and you kill an oscillated and a golds. What, the roll is just the ghouls. Yep. Oh, that's right. Roll yep. is just the golds. A, um, the, the world is the world the slam. Is all, all six of them. That's correct. Yeah. So, so, but here, what we're generally talking about is a grand slam which is gonna be four, your four subspecies here, which be your Rio Grande, which Anthony and Roger were hunting, your Eastern, which is right here in Tennessee, you can tell, you know, a lot of other areas around here. You got the Osceola, which is, I don't know how much of Southern Florida, but it's, it's Southern it's Florida Florida's area. You have to be below Osceola. a certain yeah. line uh, yeah. for the Osceola turkey, and then you have your Merriam's, which I, you said you were in Nebraska for them. I know Andy There's Country used to like South Dakota. Of pockets so. of them all over the West in the mountainous yeah. um, terrain, so usually they're yeah. in mountainous So you terrain. have to do some traveling, and like Justin mentioned too, you got to follow those seasons, right, or you'll run out of time. That's I mean, right. you have to start with the early season and work to the late season. That's so. right. And a lot of people now are going for the super slam, and that's when you kill them in 49 states because it's not any in Hawaii. Hey, That's just, right. just there, is, there is in Hawaii. I mean, I mean Alaska. <laughs> Alaska. <what> I mean. <laughs> Alaska. Hey, he'll stop you Alaska. real quick on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alaska. <laughs> they are in yeah. Hawaii, and he might get some put in Alaska for it. Uh, <laughs> you don't ever know. He'll get some Alaska super breed or something. Get him over there so yeah. he can go chase them barefooted. But uh, <laughs> Jesse, man, you you've done this a long time. You're honestly, I'm not just saying this. Everybody knows you are one of the deadliest turkey hunters that that I've ever known. That a lot of us have ever known. You been very successful but you have something coming up here now that that I'm really excited about and I know you are uh, yeah. so tell everybody a little bit about that well we are going to be bringing um, calls um, it's going to be under Miller Wild is the, the name and we're going to do more um, than just calls we're going to hope to do um, content being tips um, video content of all sorts um, there'll be tips on everything from uh, management all the way through to frying up turkey breasts. <laughs> yeah. um, that's them, the yeah, goal. <laughs> that's right. and, and we're also going to be not only turkey, I mean, we're going to, I love deer hunting and coyote hunting, so that's going to play into it as well. But yeah. but our, our start out is going to be uh, turkey calls, and we have grunt calls coming on. Um, we've got a lot of design work going on right now. A lot of the... Yeah, the, you've been busy. The, yeah, <laughs> the behind the scenes expensive stuff is going on yeah. right now. So That's right. Got okay. booty mouth calls too, don't you? Yes, sir. We got those. How long on. before any of this is available? I mean, uh, what's I the Expect. expect a month or two at least until we get the website up and running and in and things for sale. So, in so. plenty of time for next season, That's or correct. even the fall season, That's if correct. you're a fall well, turkey hunter, yes. uh, you'll have everybody you know ready to go and get started. That's correct. Uh, we're super excited about that, man. We really are. We're excited to be working with you here at the show. Uh, we're going to be using a lot of these calls and showing them to people. Um, but I, I know if I want somebody uh, helping make and design turkey calls, I want to be this man right here, no doubt about it. So, uh, man, just really excited for you, proud of you for, for I'm all excited you've about done it. with it. Uh, you've already come a long way in, in doing all this, really. It's not like just a, a quick startup deal. I mean, it's, yeah. it's, this is the real deal, and it's going to be great. It was. It is. It is. So that's, that, I'm looking forward to that. Now, what about y'all's seasons coming up? Now, Roger, you're fixing to go hog hunting again down there, ain't you? I won't try to go here in the next month or so. Now, that, and that's, what part of Texas were y'all? We didn't hit that. We said the, the hill country, but. It's 
Is Lano, it? north of Lano. Well, okay. San Saba County. Okay, yeah, San Saba cool, County. Yep. And uh, a lot of good hog hunting down there. Now, I've not hunted that exact county. I've been near there. Are there, um, are javelinas there? Or are y'all hunting just no, it's feral not, hog? No, it's, it's, it's a little too far north for javelinas. Okay. Yeah. I was going to say, where well, we were at in, I think it was LaSalle, uh, I believe it was Valverde County, that it was mostly, it almost seems, I don't know if there's places they mix well, I don't know, but where we were, there was nothing but javelinas, and then where we hunted over in Webb County, down there in South Texas, there were no javelinas. It was all uh, hmm. just feral hogs. Yep. So, I mean, I guess it just depends there in Texas. It's so diverse there, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Going down the road, you'll see a black book and go a quarter mile and see a buffalo. <laughs> you I mean, never know. A, it's crazy. You never know what it is. Ike's, Ike's farm, about a week before we went to her, his ranch, it was some just some all dad that. You know, he don't have any all dad, but it was like That's four of one his place. Yeah, yeah. Wander yeah. through. Yeah. Now, when you one another thing too, I want to talk a little bit about tonight as we're getting towards the end. But when you get ready to go on some of these trips, I wanted to throw just a few things out, and you guys can add to it. But there's certain things you really want to do before you get ready to go out of state to hunt, whether it's Texas or Alabama or, or all the way up north in Nebraska, or whatever. But you want to, where do you start, Just do you, do you start with like a DNR website, go in there, start getting information. Mm -hmm. But you want to have all of that stuff uh, planned out, set up well ahead of time. 100%. If you're going somewhere you've never been, you know, you might want to, you don't necessarily have to have a guide, but you might want to reach out locally. Talk to some people that are in that area. Facebook is a great way to reach out, to it be is. honest, and other, and other things. But don't just pack your bags up and head to Texas no. and go hunt real. No. Mm -hmm. Make sure you have a plan so that you'll enjoy it and get more out of your money and your time. So that, we do want to leave you that, too. Don't yeah. just haphazardly run do it. If you plan it right, you'll come out a lot better trip in the long run. That's right. We're going to get ready to take another quick break, guys. We'll be back here in just a minute with some more Southern Woods and Waters.